Hey guys, I'm back with another ROM review and this one's going to be for Raspbian Jelly and you can see it right here, my build number is the JSS, it's the latest AOSP build and this is the latest Raspbian Jelly build as well, I'll put all the links in the description as always and yeah, of course we're on Android 4.3 now so all my ROM reviews are going to be for Android 4.3 so yeah, let's go ahead and check it out so here we go and if you've never used this ROM before it's basically as stock as you can get with a few customizable options it's very fast very stable and very fluid it's got some changes to the way it looks if I pull down the status bar here and the notification shade you can see the transparency levels are a little bit different to what you have on stock and also if you dive into the settings you'll see the background is a lot darker than what you get on stock as well which is a lot more of a grey colour you can see we've got some build tweaks here which we'll check out in a minute I also want to mention it does come with the AOSP browser instead of Google Chrome which is a very fast browser you won't see Chrome in there obviously you can get it from the Play Store but the AOSP browser is probably the best browser on Android it's very fast very quick and just really smooth let's dive back into the settings and check out some of these tweaks so like I said there really isn't that many we'll dive into the status bar first and check out these you've got the quick settings pull down this means if you set it to the right you can pull down the quick toggles from the right and you can pull down your notifications from the left that is one of my favorite features of any rom you've also got the uh, battery icon you can change the way it looks you can have an icon icon percentage or hidden and you can see it change in the top right hand corner there my personal favorite is probably the icon and percentage i don't know why i just prefer that and you've also got brightness control and again this is one of my personal favorites you can slide your finger along the top and it will change the level of your brightness without actually going into the brightness settings Next up we've got the navigation bar tweaks and we've got the navigation bar buttons. This allows you to kind of unlock your navigation bar and set a persistent menu button for example. You can see here you can relock it and that button will now stay there so you have a persistent menu button. We've also got the navigation bar height so you can actually change the DP of the navigation bar itself. You can make it smaller or bigger or just in the middle it depends what your preference is so if you don't want it to be that big you can change it and you've also got some volume rocker tweaks as well for example for example the volume rocker wake and the music controls and the volume key cursor control as well so that's pretty much all the customization you get on this rom it this rom is going to be perfect for people who just want a very clean and simple rom they want it to be as close to the google experience as possible but they do want a few tweaks as well this is pretty much perfect for that and it is very fast and very fluid now the launcher also rotates you can see here which is an awesome feature i love this feature on this rom it rotates and it just looks really cool i think when you rotate it so uh, yeah a nice feature there to have if we uh, rotate it back now i just wanted to say a quick thing about benchmarks i'll, I'll quickly open up antutu right here and you can see the score that I got recently with it not a great score by any means basically 17,000 but I just wanted to show you that even with a score of 17,000 this just shows you how much benchmarks don't really mean much this ROM is faster than a ROM that scores 21,000 so it just shows you benchmarks on everything you can of course install custom kernels and different tweaks and stuff to get the score higher if you really want it to but it's not really needed so yeah, it's a very fast, clean and simple ROM. It's going to be great for people that want a very close to stock Google experience, but do want a few options. So there you have it. Peace out.